Hi there today. Um, here to take uh, answer some requests that people ask me. They asking me to how to upgrade their RAM for the ASUS D5500 series, and this is the same thing for any ASUS D500 series. So first thing first, you want to flip it over. You're gonna remove all the bottom screws at the bottom cover. All right, once you remove the bottom screws, next you want to flip the laptop back to normal position, but you want to hold it in 45 degree angle. Using a guitar pick, using a guitar pick, you're going to stick the guitar pick in between the top cover and the bottom cover, and you're going to twist it all around. Once that's done, you want to grab it from the bottom front side, you're going to lift it up. 30 40 degrees and you want to see these cables right at the bottom this is the keyboard flex and this is the touchpad so what you want to do you want to lift up this plastic cover right here 90 degrees just with your fingernails and the keyboard is just going to slide towards the back side but this cable is going to come out to the front side so you're going to lift up from the back end of the keyboard the black cover and slide the keyboard towards yourself the cable towards you. Right, next, you can just go ahead and lift up the top cover. All right, we still don't have access to the RAM. I have no idea why. They should have put it on this side, but the RAM is on the other side of the motherboard. So what we gotta do, we gotta remove the hard drive, the CD-ROM, and the, the battery. So we're gonna remove the battery first by removing all the screw that touches the battery plastic. There are four screws. Once you remove the four screws, you want to unhook the cable for the battery cable by pulling this metal cover right towards the hard drive. Just about one or two millimeters. So just like that. Next, you want to lift up this plastic cover the jack towards the ceiling, towards your face. Just from the bottom, lift up. Now you can go ahead and remove the battery. We're gonna remove the CD ROM by removing only one screw right over here. And just pull the CD ROM towards the side, just a little bit. Just unhook the separator from the connector. Next, we're gonna remove the hard drive by removing four screws one, two, three, four. And we're gonna pull the hard drive towards the back side where the screen is and lift up, pull it up. Next, we're gonna unhook the fan cable. We're also gonna unhook the speaker cable. We're gonna remove the cable, flex cable for the extra USB port just by lifting up the black cover right there 90 degrees and pull the jack, slide it out the flex cable next on top here you're going to remove the tape just rip the tape all the way to the back side hold it on this position and remove the jack this is an lcd jack just hold it from the side and pull out towards the top side and the last thing is to remove all the screw that holds the motherboard which is one right over there one between the jack one right halfway up by the on off switch and one the Wi Fi screw. And before we do all that, we're gonna remove the cable that holds the Wi Fi. This antenna cable, we're gonna unhook it. Now let's go ahead and remove the screws. Also, remove the screw which was holding the Wi Fi board. Next, you cannot still lift up the motherboard because there is a lock right here. You wanna pull this trigger towards the CD-ROM side a little bit, just about half a centimeter, and then just release the motherboard. The Wi-Fi board is gonna fall off. Now we're gonna flip over the motherboard. There is your CPU feed with a flimsy heatsink. And I'm not gonna go through details. I made a video about this. 
So this is the only one RAM DIMM, so we can only upgrade the one RAM DIMM. So if you have a 2 gig, you can go 4, if you have 4, you can go to 8 gigs. And if you want to unhook the RAM, just pull apart these two triggers, just like this. And the RAM is going to come out in 45 degree angle, and you're going to remove it in 45 degree angle. And you're going to grab the new RAM, you're going to put it in 45 degree angle, and you're going to push it down, you're going to hear click sound, just like that. Remove it, trigger to side, pull out, pull it down in 45 degree angle, push it all the way to the back and push it down towards the board. And when you want to put it back in together, first thing you have to put the Wi-Fi board in the corner, slide it down the same way that you remove the RAM and hold it with your finger just like that. Don't let it go, otherwise it's going to fall off. So put the cable a position that it won't just come out remove the cables with your fingers you slide down the power connector side and then just put down the motherboard press on this corner so it just clicks from the lock put the cable for the Wi-Fi antenna put the jack for the LCD and pull it towards you Put the connector for the extra USB, slide it in, connect the speaker cable, connect the fan cable, slide back in the CD ROM, grab the hard drive, put it with an offset all the way to the back and then slide it towards the connector. Grab the battery, put the back end of the battery down towards the front of the laptop and push it down. Grab the connector and push the connector down 90 degree angle, hold it with your fingers and then push the jack over the connector. Alright, now we're gonna put the screws for the caddy, for the CD-ROM, for the motherboard and pretty much we're done there. Alright, now that we have all the screws back in, you're gonna grab the top cover, you're gonna put the bottom side where the hinges are, just a little bit. This one is already broken, so it came down to the shelf broken. And you're gonna bring it on 45 degree angle. Now you're gonna lift up this lock right there in 90 degree angle. You're gonna grab with your two fingers the LCD, I mean keyboard flex and put it slide it from the CD hard right towards the battery, hold it and close the lock with the other finger. Now for the touchpad, same thing, lift up the lock, grab the cable, slide it right underneath and close the lock. There we go. Now we're gonna push the corners down, you're gonna hear click sounds. There you go. At these steps, we are almost done. And I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments. And I appreciate if you guys subscribe, it helps and motivates. And last step is just put the long screws all the way from the mid to the top and the short screws on the front end of the laptop. And again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.